Overgrazing and invasive weeds have been blamed for a rising number of sick and malnourished southern hairy-nosed wombats in the Murraylands. University of Adelaide Research has confirmed the species is starving to death because their feed has disappeared. They're known as the bulldozer of the outback, but in many cases across the Murray lands, from Murray Bridge to Blanchetown, the southern hairy-nosed wombat is too emaciated to stand. We see animals just lying on their side, eating dirt and falling down holes. We're seeing wombats falling over and we're also finding about 20 to 30 wombats that have died every time we go up there. Preliminary findings from a University of Adelaide study pointed to a mysterious liver disease causing the deaths. But final results show a limited food supply is leaving wombats in specific areas to starve. The overwhelming um, finding was that these animals were under severe nutritional stress, which we believe is due to land degradation in the areas in which they were found. Those areas have been taken over by invasive weeds, including onion weeds, which could be toxic if eaten by the wombats. It's an important example of, of when um, land mismanagement and land degradation has a, a particularly adverse effect on a, on a native species and, and certainly this is an extreme welfare issue in the wombats that are affected. The Environment Department is working with conservation groups to rejuvenate the land along the River Murray. One trial underway is revegetating a reserve near Blanchetown, owned by the Natural History Society. We've got lots of small plots, trial plots going to see what's the best way of doing that and whether we, we have to get rid of the weeds first. There's a huge weed load on the reserve and, and that's part of the problem I think. The University of Adelaide is now undertaking new research to find out which specific weeds are poisonous to wombats. Nicola Gage, ABC News.